This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, March the 13th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Our surface weather map this morning, we're finally getting rid of that uh, big upper closed low, but at the surface, we're having a weak low move through the Ohio River Valley while another low is developing out uh, just to the east of the Texas Panhandle, and uh, that will be uh, affecting uh, parts of the lower Mississippi River Valley today and tomorrow. In the upper atmosphere, that big closed low is now just a little short wave uh, in the vicinity of Paducah and West uh, Tennessee. And that will be moving out fairly quickly while that other closed low over the Texas Panhandle drops in and provides us with uh, another round of severe storms uh, for parts of Arkansas primarily. Across uh, Alabama this morning, temperatures once again are mild. We should be in the 40s for lows, but we're only into the lower 60s. So it's very warm. It's also rather humid and there's lots of fog out there. So be careful, should burn off by 9 a.m. or so. On the radar this morning, we do have a few isolated showers uh, over central Alabama and northern Mississippi, but I think uh, by uh, late morning, most of those showers will be gone, and we probably will stay dry until later this evening. On the watch warning map, uh, we're a little quieter. The uh, gray areas you see are uh, dense fog advisories, and then those uh, bright green are actually flood advisories for the uh, rivers that are uh, up high because of that rainfall. Speaking of rainfall, we expect to see uh, with this next system on the order of uh, around an inch of rain just to our west, uh, we will stay in the area where we'll probably get between half inch and, and maybe close to one inch, but the storm should be coming through fairly quickly and uh, the coverage not too uh, high. The storm Prediction Center is out looking at enhanced risk for Severe storms, mainly uh, damaging hail and uh, uh, the possibility of isolated tornadoes over Arkansas with a slight uh, risk surrounding that. That includes uh, the rest of Arkansas, a little bit of eastern Oklahoma, parts of uh, northwestern Mississippi, a little bit of northern uh, Louisiana, and a sliver of west Tennessee. For day two, that would be uh, Monday into early Tuesday. There's a marginal risk centered primarily on North Carolina. And then for day three, we have another slight risk up in the vicinity uh, of uh, Illinois and Indiana and the western part of Ohio with a trailing marginal risk down into uh, our area. And then actually for day four, there's another uh, risk area uh, over parts of Illinois and Indiana. All right, let's get to the 06E GFS model run this morning, and we can see the trough over the Ohio River Valley that is a mere shadow of itself uh, when it was a big closed low over northern Mexico and, and lumbering slowly across Texas. We uh, have dropping in behind it another closed low that's over, te uh, over uh, north uh, central Texas and Oklahoma, and uh, that will be responsible for a surface low. And, of course, uh, that keeps us in a rather warm pattern over the uh, southeastern U.S. with a south to southwest flow, so we'll stay uh, fairly uh, warm. The uh, Cape values for uh, uh, tonight uh, around uh, 6 p.m. indicate that the Cape values are, as uh, SPC has outlined, uh, the highest over northern Louisiana and parts of uh, the Arkansas area, so they're under the gun for severe weather tonight. By Monday at midday, the uh, closed low is weakening. It's still a closed low, but it's still weakening as it comes by us. So it looks like our chance for rain will probably come uh, into the early morning hours of Monday. And then by Monday afternoon, we should be drying out some as we stay relatively mild with highs once again in the lower 70s. Tuesday becomes a bit of a transition day. Uh, this is an in-between day. We're under a weak ridge, and it does look like we're going to see uh, the temperatures come up very nicely, and we should actually be approaching and uh, coming close to record values. The record for this day for Birmingham is 84, and this is for Tuesday, and it looks like we may be very close to that record for the high, and that would make it the warmest day so far for 2016. On Wednesday, we do see the troughiness beginning to develop. Now, yesterday, uh, the GFS was a little more bullish on the troughiness over the eastern half of the country. It's still showing the troughiness Wednesday, uh, but it's not uh, bringing it quite as uh, deeply into the southern states. 
that means we should have high pressure on Wednesday. So Wednesday should be a relatively nice day uh, with just an isolated shower or two. On Thursday, we still see the troughiness, but notice that the flow across the southern tier of the United States <clears throat> excuse me, is pretty uh, zonal. Uh, so that means we'll still see some chance that we may see some uh, isolated showers on Thursday. By uh, Friday, we're now beginning to see the, the troughiness over the Ohio River Valley, but we're developing another uh, strong shortwave trough that is digging in through the Rockies. And uh, by Saturday, that has dug in now to Texas and Oklahoma and uh, Kansas area. So that will be the system that will be affecting us for the weekend. And it looks like we could be somewhat wet. Now, interestingly enough, I'll show you the European in just a minute, but the GFS not as bullish on rain on Saturday as the European is. Uh, staying with the GFS upper air pattern, we see that that trough uh, intensifies, sharpens up a bit. Uh, and we'll be moving by on Sunday. So it looks like Saturday and Sunday could be wet. And indeed, the GFS is showing that, but it's more bullish on wetness a little further to the east from us. Now, European on Saturday is much more bullish on the rain uh, than what the uh, GFS was. And then it is more or less uh, out of here by Sunday. So a little bit of differences uh, with those particular models. Uh, but it, after all, we are getting out into uh, very close to voodoo country, so it's kind of to be expected. Now, looking out into voodoo country, we see another weather system uh, around the 23rd of March, and this is uh, around uh, Wednesday, and uh, we see that uh, good sh uh, stout uh, shortwave trough moving through uh, the lower Mississippi River Valley. And then we see another one, and this one very far south, kind of like this last big one, and this one uh, could basically portray a very wet scenario for the eastern half of the southeastern United States, uh, similar to what we saw over uh, Texas and Louisiana and Arkansas earlier this week. Now, not nearly as bad because the GFS is keeping this system moving. One of the big problems we had with that system over the lower Mississippi River Valley earlier this week was that it just wasn't moving much. This, on the other hand, would give us uh, you know, a, a fairly short uh, wet pattern. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, you can check back at the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.